What's up, Jabroni Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into Firefly episode number eight. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. If you have, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full reaction, uncut, unedited, unblocked. Make sure that you also, if you want episodes earlier, head over there as well. Have some exclusives if you want to check some of those out. I mean, Firefly for a long period of time was exclusive, so definitely check it out if you are interested. We are hopping into Out of Gas. Um... Um, I mean, is it is it as literal as it sounds? Are we literally out of gas? I don't know. Uh, last episode was Jamestown, which I really liked. I'm um, sorry about the way I sound. I'm a bit sick under the weather, so the voice is going to be like this. I know it's already deep and hard to understand me sometimes, so I apologize for that. Have my vitamin, well, my regular water with about five cough drops in it, which have kind of dissolved into the water already, so that's where we're at. <clears throat> um... No medicine, because uh, when I did uh, Veronica Mars, I sounded like complete and utter dumbness at the end there because I was just groggy from the medicine. So today, <clears throat> we are hopping into this without any medicine. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get started. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this reaction pretty much. Here we go. Hello. Ooh, flashback episode. You won't be winning any beauty contests anytime soon, but she is solid. Ship like this, be with you to the day you die. No matter how long the I respect how much she cares about us we'll people, especially her. Like she's get been with him from the beginning. Yeah. So not running now. Not so much. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get robbed. Wait, is he bleeding? Somebody shoot him? So is the ship being like? Taking over? What's going on here? Dude, they are so a family. It's so cool. No. And the food. Just who do you think you're married to? Ah. You're the best. <laughs> hey, Doc. I think Kaylee may need your help after all. Care to make the first incision, Dr. Tan? Is it his birthday? Happy birthday, Tan. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So we can try a slice. Come on, Doc. Give a good blow. <laughs> What's happening? I wonder what happened. You need to get a hiccup. I'll go check it out. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh shit. That's very cool. Very, very cool. I know what happened. Like... Be damn bad. Wash. I'm not leaving her side, Mal. Don't ask me again. Is she like, oh shit. You're gonna get to that bridge and you're gonna get us back on our feet. I mean, just say that you have to go to a, we have to go to the hospital or something. Yeah. Is she just unconscious? Like, she's, does he have a concussion? Oh, this is awesome. We're getting to know. Oh, what the? F <laughs> Look at the stat. Oh my Jesus! Genius. No one's ever called me that before. What the fuck is this guy? Ooh. Oh my God! This direction is absolutely phenomenal. Wait, I just talked to them. We have a Nara ship on her. We could just can't we just take a Nara ship? Or can we not get to it? Down on account of the engine being dead. Right, but we got auxiliary life support. No, we don't. Ain't even on. Oh the explosion shit. must have knocked it out. So what are we breathing? Whatever got pumped into the Atmo before the explosion shut it all down. It's not going to happen. How do you know that? We'll freeze to death first. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> God, thanks, River, for the unnecessary. I'm guessing he's pissed at Mal. Out our signal before they could even go any place. Okay. Well, maybe I should do that then. Maybe you should. Okay. Good. <laughs> he just realized it's a good plan. I believe. I bet they all took an Anara ship. Why wouldn't they take Anara ship? I don't get it. Oh, 
Who's he having sex with? What? She likes engines. Is that Kaylee? No, it ain't. Ain't nothing wrong with your grab boot. Grab boot's just Wow. Fine. Hello. Oh. She doesn't. And that's not what it is. No, it ain't. Oh my god, I, I don't know. Like, it's hard for me to get over her being this character, but no. or like being this, this way, but hey. I just didn't right see out. her as the have sex in a random hey. place. Here. Hand me that, will ya? What'd you do? She fixed it. You're oh, fired. Really broke. Where'd you learn how to do that, miss? Just do it, that's all. I never even been up in one before. <laughs> Wanna? <laughs> you mean Sure. For how long? Long as you like. Long as you can keep her in the sky. Damn. Life support failure. Check oxygen levels. Wait, where do you that's what he's holding. Where did he get that piece from? <laughs> two shuttles. Short range. Won't go far. But each got heat and they each got air. That's longer than what's left on Serenity. Long enough to reach someplace? No. So, where will we go then? Far as you can get. What about you? I'm staying with the ship. Four people per shuttle. That's the arrangement. Evens the odds. More oxygen. I'm staying with Serenity. Captain. We sent out a beacon. Even managed to boost it a little. By some chance, you get a response, someone's gonna have to be here to answer. Oh. Yeah, as far as your security deposit goes, that I might have to owe you. Oh, there she is. so she pays for the room, but it's also she's paying for the ship or for the shuttle. Oh, nice okay, I didn't know that. Smallish. <laughs> I'm sure they We're mentioned old, it, really. but I probably missed it. What the hell is she wearing? Which room do you really need for what you do anyway? The independence. The Alliance has no quarrel with me. I supported unification. Mm. Did you? Damn. <laughs> well, I don't suppose you're the only whore that did. Oh, one further addendum. That's the last time you get to call me whore. Absolutely. Never again. Keep everything set. But why? I want to know why she chose this. Damn. Jane doesn't know how to talk. Like, you know that he doesn't know how to like talk, like be emotional, like with his feelings. I'm emotionally like <laughs> I'm emotionally like hurt right now. <laughs> like I feel like I'm gonna get teary eyed. <laughs> Even though I know this is only episode eight. <laughs> it's like I'm just very I don't know. That's cool. Because we saw how he got there when they left, and now we're seeing him how he is now. Even though we knew that he was doing other things. Wait, what wait? What what was he was doing the thing with the piece. Yep, here we go. Really though, dude? No. Hey. That's a joke. This is how we find <laughs> Ugly one, sir. <laughs> Could you be more specific? <laughs> look reasonable to you. Offering to shoot us might not work so well as an incentive as you might imagine. <laughs> anyway, we've hidden it. So, you kill us, you'll never find it. I mean, let's say you did kill us. Or didn't. It could be torture. Whatever. But somehow, <laughs> you found the goods. What would your cut be? Seven percent, straight off the top. Seven? Huh. What? You get the perks? Got your own room? Uh, no. shit. You share a bunk. That one. <laughs> Private room. Jane. Full <laughs> no room. Pull one of the kitchen. Full shot. <laughs> hey, ain't asking. Shut up. <laughs> so you take a look around. Decide what you think is fair. Already decided. What? That's how you got shot. We're taking your ship. Or Flashback. Whoa, shit. How'd you... Jesse? Don't call Stern. 
Huh. I wonder why they walked away. Well, this is where we are. Okay. Now we caught up. They're all gonna get back and be like, Captain, how'd you get shot? <laughs> Were you trying to blow your head off and missed? I thought I ordered you all off the ship. Can I call you back? No, Matt, you do. I take full responsibility, Captain. There's something wrong with Nara's shuttle. <laughs> She's done something to it, Mal. Mal's funny. I told you that's incense. <laughs> that's what you say. <laughs> Son. You hear a word I've been saying? Why do you want that one? Um. Oh man, like I got chills right now. I think that's the best episode of the season so far. Absolutely phenomenal. I I'm gonna give the episode a ten on the Patreon scale. I just think it's I think it's I think it's a perfect episode. I mean, um, I think it's almost perfect, but it was so damn close that like it was so good. I loved everything about that. Ah, oh, man, from the flashbacks to the emotion, to me, I like, I was scared, even though I knew that there was still several episodes left. Like, I was just, man, everything. That was a well-executed, well-directed, well-written. That was amazing. Honestly, amazing. Um, but let's go through the episode a bit here. Let's kind of figure out where we are at here. So, so the episode starts off already like it does like this cool shot of we're going to like we're going through the whole ship quiet no noise we're just hearing like the distress signal we might not even be hearing the distress signal are we hearing the distress signal no it's just a score happening right and we're just kind of hearing the score going through the ship everything's like wrecked and everything and then we see Mal fall and he's here right and then we they do like a cool moment where we see blood when do we see we see blood maybe it's after that uh, but then there's a flashback of when they bought the ship now i'm not exactly sure why he chose this one over the other one what was it about this ship that he wanted it but i guess for for his kind of missions where he's trying to stay under the radar i guess it makes sense um we get this whole amazing dynamic building the characters between zoe and him absolutely love it adore it uh then we get back um we get back in here. That's when we see um, we see blood dripping here, right? This, yeah, we see the blood drip right here, and we are supposed to like be curious about what like, like oh was were they shot? Was it was it like were they robbed? Was it, like, what happened? You know, it builds all that up. Then we see this amazing him him walking like to like to get to like where he's going. He's got a, something in his hand, and then we get flashbacks of stories and being a family and i loved it all all of it it was amazing this whole thing and then her saying fire felt perfectly then the like lights go out the birthday thing about family all of it right then the lights go out i thought the explosion when it happened was absolutely i thought it was great i loved it um i just i don't know it was all worked really really well um, let's see where else we actually, I just noticed something. <laughs> the clicking noise is really loud on my mouse. Um, we, they executed this really, really well. We hop, we hop way over here. We see the whole ship. Um, Kaylee talks about what's happening. We, um, and during the explosion, so he gets hit. She's un unconscious, probably a concussion. Um, I like the way Mal talked to Wash. I like the way Wash talked to Mal. I like the whole dynamic um, because although life, like it's, it's, it's all looks dire, um, Mal still has to be the captain and he has to put everybody in check, tell them what to do. Wash is emotionally just losing it right now because he's his wife. And I love that entire thing. Um, then we get here where we see my boy, where is it? Rocking the ultimate. I want to see the porn stars. <laughs> 
So I could do a porn stash essentially, which we can't get here. Uh, I want to see the porn stash. Ba bam! Oh, look at the stash. Um, and then when she gets out, she's like, "I don't like him. I don't like him." I thought she was talking about him, but I think she was talking about the other guy, or maybe she was talking about him. Um, we get by here. We see him bandaging himself up. We see them panicking over Zoe. We conversation with Chloe talk about the oxygen and how we've got no, we've only got a couple hours. <clears throat> um, this whole scenario breaking down, talk about dying and just being really emotional. I like the whole point about this is his birthday and this is happening on his birthday, which is crazy for him. Um, then we go back to here. Like It was just like a really, really amazing interplay between back and forth and the flashbacks were using the perfect moments. Um, we get to this point where we are seeing him having sex back here and i was like who's he having sex with? i thought maybe it was like <clears throat> i thought at first i was like oh i wonder if that's gonna be uh the cat uh wash and the wife having sex but then when it turns out to be him i'm like did the wife have sex with him or maybe an aura and i was like who could it be and then i was like wait and then it ends up being chloe and uh, not chloe um ends up being um kaylee and i'm like whoa it's just it was just really hard for me to process that like kaylee <laughs> is having sex in like a random place in like open area because she comes off so shy <clears throat> and whatever i mean then she's not embarrassed about anything I mean, good for her i just did not think that was like how she was like her character but good for her <clears throat> i thought she would have been super shy about it and be all weird about it but good for her i love it i like that she knew this guy we figured out he got hot kicking out of the team i like that he's the way Miles calming her down talking about fix it fix it fix it and i'm i'm glad she didn't find a way to fix it Cause she said, uh, sometimes things are just broken. You can't fix it. I like that whole thing. I like this whole conversation. Um, then Mal gives them the whole thing. We have to separate the ship. We see how him and Anara and their whole thing. <clears throat> I would have loved to know. I got, I don't, I still, we still don't know exactly why Anara chose this ship. Was it because of the low, low price? Could be. I don't know. I'm very curious why this ship. Cause she said, um, high level companions go into like big, uh, like, luxury liners but <clears throat> she chose this ship i wonder why if it was just a cheap pay i'm very curious about that we hop into um more flashbacks here i want to fly back more about breaking down with the ship what's going to happen shutters are going to separate we're going to do all that um then we hop over to um them actually leaving and that whole scene um Oh, yeah, then we get to this whole part where uh, he's passed out. He's getting a, a signal call. <clears throat> Somebody's coming. He tries to talk about the guy. The guy's like, ooh, wow, you guys might be maybe an ambush, this whole thing. Um, then it turns out they're going to ambush him, steal his ship. And I like this flashback, this amazing flashback with Jane. Love it so fucking much. Love that Jane's all about money. They made him feel dumb. Da -da -da. I love this whole thing. Then they shoot a mile. Bam, no. So this is my one my one critique of the episode. Like legitimate, like negative. Why did they leave? <clears throat> they shot him. He's got his gun on the captain. Was it just because if they shoot Mal, then Mal can shoot the captain in that whole situation? Which it could be what it is. I mean, if the captain's just like, oh, I just want something easy. Looking out for myself, looking out for me. But, you know, I don't know. It felt kind of like Mal got the upper hand, but they didn't fight back. They could have, I guess if they, they would have had more time, I guess they could have fought it back, had a whole thing, but they didn't. So very interested about that, how that goes. I love the whole conversation. Now getting the peace back, like him passing out. I love the fact that he did all that and he didn't get the peace in. Or he got the peace in, got the peace going, but then he passed out through, from, blood, from blood loss, so he couldn't push the button. And I love the reason that, they, that he was saved is because his second in command, Zoe, came back. Love that. Love that. Because I'm guessing if she would have been awake, she would which is a cool reason to have her be knocked out, because if she if they would have he would have been awake, she would have been awake. There's no way she would have accepted that. I appreciate all of it. Loved it. And um then we get the ending about him with the ship. Now I'm very curious as to still why he chose the ship over this big one. It could just be that sometimes you just see something and you're just in love with it. Could be that. Um yeah. I love this episode. A ten out of ten. It's a ten. I love it. It's amazing. Um, everything executed perfectly. Everything. 
like my like I said, my only little small gripe was the whole why would they leave? But like the um, bad guys, but that's it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy my reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoy my review, the breakdown at the end there. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full reaction, uncut, unedited. Make sure you guys, uh, if you want episodes early, five, six, seven, maybe eight, nine episodes are already up on Patreon by the time you're seeing this. Uh, so check it out. See what you think. Uh, and I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to talk to you guys later.